we are back with Sui Coden 4, and I have some cool stuff to show you. For starters, let's just depart. Hello there, Insane Buffoon. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm about to show off a combo attack. And then I'm about to change locations, but first of all, let's get into a fight. Don't care which. It's fine. Everything's fine. I just sail around all wacky. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hello there, Dragon Ace. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Oh no! It's those weak mantas. What'll I do? Well, I'll show ya. Let's combo with Lino and Coldis, Rachel and Eugene. Very different personalities, but guess what? All of them use spears. Oh, brutal. Alright. I was gonna say, that's, that's all they lifted him up gently, but then, oh, oh, what a twist. But now I'm gonna get my power team. Get ready for the shenanigans I'm about to pull because I'm excited. This is gonna be revenge from like the second or third stream. Like it's been a very, very long time. This has been a long time coming. So first of all, I'll change up my team to the powerhouses. First, let's do... put Lino back in here. Oh, I keep forgetting I have to drop him from my regular party first. What a nuisance. Ugh. Lino, get in there. Alright, now my remainders. So let's get Kika, because she's just a brick. Let's get Gao, because he's just a brick. Let's get Ted, because he's the magic equivalent of a brick. Let's get Rikie for healing. Looking good. I will say, Noah is very good, though, for getting money. Better than my other characters for getting money. Hello there, General Ledger. Welcome to the stream. Ah, hello, Winterburn. Welcome to the stream. How's it going, both of you? I am going to make an interesting expedition. Um... Yeah, let's do the palace. I am super excited. Super excited. What I'm about to show you is something you've actually already seen. And it occurs to me I do not want to go this way. This is the way to where my cliff base was. Sorry. Let me turn around real quick. This is an area to, to my uh, small credit I have not been to in an extremely long time. I'm going to the left. Path to ruins. What? What could possibly be here that I haven't already taken care of? Oh my goodness. I'm going to keep the big map out just to see if I have any uh, branching paths. I want to know this early. Yeah, ugh. Alright, the fight should be pretty free. Unless they changed enemies in the time since I've been here. Nope! <laughs> Alright, well. These should be one hit kills. And yet they're not. Well, those Geldons are coming back then. My disappointment is immeasurable. Alright, we're taking the stupid unicorn zombies out to hell with this. Got him. Got him. And now whatever happens to the skeletons, it doesn't matter because they'll just come back. Oh no, he's back. Anyway, let's finish this. Oh my god, it's the hardest fight in the game. Anyway, we got him. I did it. I somehow did it. 14,000 potch. What? Did the enemies level up? Maybe they are harder enemies. Wow. Okay. 14,000? 
Like, I, I went to the deserted island to grind, and that still pays... Well, there's a fight that pays better, and there are fights that pay worse. Anyway, I'll go on this way now. Well, this is good. I'm gonna need cash. Oh no, it's the same fight except the unicorns are in the middle. Unicorn, zombie, and skeleton. Let's take him out first, you know the drill. See ya. The idea that I'm not one hit KOing these guys, they must be replaced with enemies. What other explanation could there possibly be? 14,000? Insane. Anyway, I'll turn off the giant map once I get to where I'm going. This road is free. I mean, there might be enemies, but navigation is free. Even for me. These... Armored Wolf, yeah. The <laughs> hmm, these look a little different from what I'm used to. Yeah, like, Gao is not one-shotting these guys. They must be serious. Get the hell out of here. 9,600. Damn. Anyway. Yeah, remember this treasure chest that had the One Piece dress in it, which is not impressive by current standards? However... You might have an idea of where I'm going. You might. First, I'm taking whatever this is. Ugh. Can I just leave? Oh yeah, release. I can let them go. Alright, good. Y'all ready, everybody? Because it's revenge time. I, for one, am excited. Do you remember this treasure chest, which is closed? Wow, nice. Alright, I guess I'll get through this fight first. It's fine. Oh my god, what? This was like the boss of the dungeon. It's just a regular enemy now? Excuse me? Like, I, I don't think there was a regular version of this just hanging out. This is not what was in the chest. This is... Hmm. Can I just take it out? How much health could it possibly have? This is not a boss, remember. How is it not already dead? I am very nervous. Are you serious? Rocket punch? Why? And Winterburn, he got demoted after we last beat him. Yeah, funny story. But anyway... Can we, like, Falcon Run, please? Can we just ruin this guy's day, please? We cool? Oh my god, what? Go away, sir. I can't even believe what's happening right now. I think we're done. Thank you. 20,000, just for a regular-ass enemy. Like, a more powerful regular enemy, but damn. Unreal. Hello there, Ron. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I am nervous about that enemy. But in any case, let's use a little bit of medicine. It's not like I don't have enough. And we're good. What do you think's in the box? Well, you might already know what's in the box. Do you remember, though? Hey look, it's this guy who absolutely stomped me the first time I fought it. It's the hairball, except this one could comically cast crazy magic powers and stuff. This thing... Well, this thing was terrifying. But you know what? Maybe not anymore. Let's see how much damage I do to this thing when I'm trying. I kind of want to hold off on the judgment, to be perfectly honest. No, I'll use it, I'll use it. 
that oh boy, this could take a while. Let's see how much judgment does. Please, please, please. Oh thank god. Alright, we're good. This thing at 3,000 HP. 20,000 potch, baby. But more importantly. More importantly. The Golden Hammer. Now, allow me to remind you of something very important. Uh, I think I mentioned this a long time ago. This game has New Game Plus. And even if you do New Game Plus, your weapons go back to level 1, which really sucks. Because it is expensive to level your weapons. However, your character levels remain. So... On a new game plus, I could go to this, the first dungeon in the game, and just skip to the Golden Hammer and be able to get end game level weapons really early on. So this is what I am talking about. This is the final hammer in the game. My entire party, my entire everybody is at level 15 weapons. I only have one level to go, although I might just focus on my primary party because if memory serves, it's like 80,000 potch. That's a relief. Let's turn around. Because I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. But boy, does it feel good to get revenge on that thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, one unicorn, alright. Hey, we're good. Oh, the skeleton didn't die. Ah, damn. Alright, whatever. Everything's fine. You saw nothing. Ten thousand pot. This is ridiculous. Anyway. Now if we actually advance to the dungeon, right? Here's this treasure chest. Now there's something I want to try, uh, or I could get into an immediate fight, nice. I'm just not in the mood, I'm leaving. Um... I forgot which way is which at this point, unless I went backwards. Uh, let me let me just check this one more time. I hope I didn't just reverse. I wanted to hit up the empty chest, which I thought I did. No, this is totally it. Um. Okay, I did this. Uh, north question mark? I don't even know. I'm probably just gonna run from everything, and if it's a golem, then I'll cry. But at least I can release with these guys, right? Hopefully north is the way to go, I really hope I'm doing this right, because I don't really like this dungeon, because everything looks the same. Okay, easy dead end, I can handle that. Okay, good. Follow the one path, can't mess that up. Ugh. These fights. Do I need to equip a skunk rune or what? Three skeletons, just, just get out of here. Get out of here. However... Okay, this is north. There's something I want to check. Okay, it looks like it's above me, I think. Yes. Another fight, don't worry about it. You'll see where I'm going. You'll see where I'm going. Spooky skeletons, don't care. That is not my problem. I'm going to walk very carefully if I'm thinking of the right thing. First, I'm going to save. For sure. You better believe I'm going to save. Oh, boy. Ooh. 
I think I'm good. It's these freaking fights, but it's fine. I can run. Too spooky for me. Don't worry about it. I'm out of here. Alright, this part's easy. And there's a damn good reason I say is trust me on this one. Um, just go. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, hey, look who's here. Look who's here. Uh, I think this is random. Oh, thank God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Easy does it. Nice and easy. Remember the ancient robot crab? Uh... This is the other early game boss that's just back and harder. Excuse me for a moment. I'm not gonna... We're still good. I'm not gonna deal with it just now. Not interested in little guys. Just go past him. Just go past him. I'm going to show you something cool and also annoying. Anyway, here's somebody. Look who's here. Travis. Oh, I guess there are some people who can actually get this far. You came alone, didn't you? Or why are you here? Uh, yeah, I guess. Are you guys really here to talk to me? We want you to lend us your strength. I don't want any trouble. However, if you guys bring me Escape Talisman, I'll think about it. You have it? Escape Talisman? Prove it. Use it right now. Open it up from where it says items and use it. Go on. Yeah, this is so stupid. Like, I have to get back to him. Again. Which is very not cool. But, uh, yeah, Escape Talisman. Boom. Doom. See ya. That's it, I'm out of the dungeon, and I have to do the dungeon again. I did it. I'm actually gonna leave the dungeon, though, and I'm gonna rest to get my, um... My Super Ted move back. But that that was totally <laughs> the dungeon. Now I have to get back to him, which is very cool and not annoying. The good news is I don't need to fight the little furball. Um, I do... What's my money? Oh, yikes. Like, I, I do want to see if I can upgrade my weapon. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll save. Why not? Frickin' Travis. By the way, the, the, uh, this is... Assuming I've gotten everybody else in the game, which I think I have, this is the last standard recruitment in the game. Travis. And he's a friggin' troll. But, I want him in my party, so we're going for it. Hello there, Jurassic Junkie. Welcome to the stream. We just went to the end of a dungeon, and then left. And now we're gonna do it again! What a troll. Anyway, same path as before, except I don't need to do the, the fuzzball thing. So, this is like a nine-step process. With lots of fighting. <clears throat> oh, hey, different enemy arrangement. Anyway, bye. Alright, that's two steps down. I'm running from all these. Hello there, Rich Toto. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm dealing with enemies I don't care about in order to deal with an enemy that I do care about. Although, like, I, I even at my level, I might actually die to that column. I'll, I'll give it a shot. Anyway. I think he respawns, but he's a challenge and a half. 
Now I'll skip the little fuzzball. I'll go for this. And this time I'll go inward. One way. Easy. Just watch out for fights. Yep. More spooky scary. Don't care. Go away. Passing through the, uh, the L-shaped hallway. Now I have a save point, which I will use. As you can see, this dungeon's actually pretty brief, if you're powerful enough that you can just insta-escape enemies. Ugh. We're almost there, we're almost there. And actually, I genuinely forgot what the, the golem gives me if I beat it. But I think it's going to be like the first time I fought it where I'm constantly healing and having like two characters actually attack. Alright, but... Damn it. Th this encounter rate is... I mean, there are times I want encounter rates, or a high encounter rate, so I can prep combos, but... Man, this gets annoying. Uh, Anyway, let's careful. Good thing I saved earlier. I walked into the golem. Alright, we're doing this. Freaking yikes. Welcome to, uh, Killer Golem. Hey now. Everlasting Mercy. Actually, I should save that. That's a, that's a big heal move. Explosion? Is that any good? You are Falcon ruining it up for sure. You... Shockingly, I'm gonna have Gal go on the defensive. Ted is just gonna go ham. This guy is loaded. I think this guy has like 30,000 HP. This, this could be a well. I need to hit him with everything. 2300, that's... That, that's, a, that's a chunk. But th this fight's gonna be serious. Like, I might die. Three turns of boost... Jesus, 250 with the defense? Wow. I don't think I'm winning this one. God damn. Just a regular attack? Is that better than 400? This is a problem. Yeah, my attack's about as much as explosion against this guy. 2100, keep pouring on that damage as best you can. That's all I can do. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Just hit anybody but Kika, please? Wow. Uh, alright. Let's, uh... Kika can't really heal in the traditional sense. Alright. It looks like the golem tends to go more slowly than I do, so I'm gonna just rely on that and hope to god he doesn't get mad and just decide to end me. Rocket Pug? But 256 to that guy. Come on. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Kindness drops on Gao. This is surreal. I need critical hits like you wouldn't believe. That's the one disadvantage with the Falcon Rune is that, like, it will not miss, but it will not crit. It, but that was it? Alright, I thought it had more HP than that. Maybe it was 20,000? Okay, well, got a diamond. See ya! That wasn't as bad as I thought. He had less HP than I expected. Alright, got him! Woo! 
Whew. Anyway, what do you think of that, Travis? He only got a couple of attacks off. And 60,000 potch. And that's without the, uh... Like, well, like Noah boosting my account. Now, I do have the Prosperity Rune on, so he's worth, like, he should be worth 30,000. Then I made it 60, but I could have made it even more if I had Noah with me. Anyway. What? Oh, I think that's a coincidence. <laughs> that, that really scared me. Now I'm fighting Travis. No, I'm not. Get the hell out of here. So, you've come back. You must be angry, rightfully so. Oh, all right. I'll lend you my help. Yay! Travis has joined us. Then, I'll go on ahead. Hooray! We did it! Um, I think I'm allowed to just leave now. Yeah, all right. See ya. Boom. There's something I want to find, though. Because I, I think I'm just about done with um my special stuff here i only have yeah i only have two combos left in the game this is wonderful so you know what i'm gonna do first things first i will go upstairs and heal i will rest in the bed i can't believe i got him that quickly I was expecting that to be just like a drawn out nightmare, but I guess we really do hit hard. Boom, see ya. Now, what I'm gonna do is a little bonus for you. Let me just check um, if we have any bath scenes with Travis. I'm not 100% we do. Not now, no. Uh, so in that case, I'm going to look up a special little thing I can do. I'm excited. Dragon Ace, how many more stars? You know what? Very good question. I'll get to that as soon as I change up my party members. But I think we're just about done. So first of all, change members. Let's get myself uh, a proper party of scary guys. So, uh... Where is it? Go find that thing again. There you are. Okay, so let's get in Travis, of course. Yeah, I can go. Um, who are my rest? Jeremy. I'll show you my swordsmanship. And the hypochondriac, I think. Tristan. I've got my medicine. Shall we go? Alright, so I wanted to use the gold hammer to really pump everybody, but even with that golem, I need more cash. So what I'm going to do is still deck people out, but uh, I can at least give myself some proper armor. And I'm not going to be using Travis for much. I just want to make him survive things that I do. No bargain items, huh? So first of all, I'll just go with platinum for him. Good thing I checked. He can't wear that. Um, silk shoes. Okay, this guy is among the less expensive people, which greatly pleases me. Hand gear. Gold bracers. Alright, this guy's not so expensive. Silk robe. This is looking real good. And headgear, silk hat. You know what? I can easily afford that. Let's pump his weapon, whatever it's called. Yeah, oh, a new hammer for me? Wow, thank you. Wait a minute, okay? Amazing. This hammer is amazing. Boom. Level 16. 70,000. Damn. Anyway, I'm going to bring Travis up from level nothing. So, stone. What's it going to be called, do you think? Obsidian, nice. I don't even know what kind of weapon he uses. Rip cash, am I right? That's all it takes. But he's the last one. Actually, no, he's the second to last one. 
marble. Stone to marble. That ain't bad. And a level 12 weapon. That's perfectly respectable, especially for what I plan to do next. And you know what, Dragon Ace? I'm going to check how many people I have left after I get my combo. So, stone, obsidian, and marble. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. And the next place I go to, I think you're going to be very surprised. But first, I'm going to get into random fights, probably like 15 of them, and wait until I unlock myself the second to last combo in the game. I'm excited. Oh no, Manta. Two sick looking swords. Is the third one also a sword user? Travis? I can't tell. Hey, he just didn't get the go, so sorry. Anyway, a few more fights. Um, a level three, like, or a three-person combo takes more fights to unlock than uh, a two-person combo does. But I'll make this work. This is almost the last combo grind I have to do in the game. Very little. So you know what I'm gonna do? One... Two, defend, three. Oh, he's a thrower. Okay. Got it. Oof. Chat, you guys are the worst. I never manta hurt you. We have rays of making you talk. Oh my god. Delicious. Boom. These easy fights make it really easy to get that combo. I think I've already explained this, um, but it's not about how tough the enemies are or how much experience you get, it's just the sheer number of fights. I could fight like a slime from Dragon Quest and, and build up my combo, anything that counts. And again, after this, you might be surprised where I'm going. Well, maybe a little surprised by where I'm going, but quite surprised with why I'm going. But I want that combo. I need that combo. <laughs> Boom, get out of here. I just think it's funny. I was I was preparing uh, Laszlo's level 4 super with the punishment rune, where it blasts the enemy and heals the whole party for 500. And it never got to that point. I was healing one person at a time, and we just beat the killer golem. Feels good, man. And I think I can keep fighting him. Bye. Come on now, let me have this combo. I'm so excited. We are so close. And I only have, um, again, I think two more bath scenes. I have two more combos and two more bath scenes. And one of the bath scenes is, I think, tied to a, a plot point, because I have the requisite characters. I just can't activate the scene right now. And the fact that I have a golden hammer, I can get level 16 weaponry. I can make my party something to be feared. I, I must say, it's a little disappointing that you don't change the name of your weapon one more time for the super duper final level, but whatever. I'm gonna need cash, but there's only so much left. There's only so much left that I need. A little better armor, a little better weapon, and again, the idea that the last hammer in the game is also the first hammer in the game is very clever. Great for New Game Plus, just get ready for Endgame. Just do it now, right now. I looks like Mr. Wizard. I deserve that. But hey, Travis dodged it anyway. Bonk. Come on now, let me get that combo. I don't know how many fights I did. It's been a bunch. But with each fight, I get ever closer. And then I look forward to my next destination. That obol chest, though, man, that was driving me crazy. And there are, I think, a couple of other chests I've missed that had similar enemies. 
So look forward to taking care of that too. Oh my goodness, what do I do about all these spooky bats and lizards? Watch out for poison, everybody. Don't get poisoned. Oh, never mind. Oh, and the counter. Damn. <laughs> Amazing. Reverse Adonis. I've already done the Adonis attack. Now it's time for Reverse Adonis, baby. You guys ready for the second to last combo in the game? I know I am. And here it is. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> he really does just throw a rock. Got him! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> we did it! I have no money. I love that with the fingers, the finger wag. Mm -mm -mm. You don't have a chance. I don't think I need to rest, but it takes one second, so I'll do it anyway. And now let's swap party members out. Let's get my terrifying party again. I want to change members. And then I'll show you something really special. So first of all, get Kika back in here. Second of all, get Gal back in here. Third of all, get Ted back in here. Beautiful. And now, let's have a chat about the roster. I want to see the roster. Looking good. Looking real good. It looks like everybody, but I want to say I'm missing somebody. I should be missing. Yeah. There's one star left. And this star is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to the final star. The Tenan star, or however that's pronounced. So... Can I just go there? Or do I have to sail there? Nope. Mordo. We're going. Oops. Hot spring. No? Okay, I don't need to be in the hot spring. I guess I'll just hit up the guy outside. Chat with the guy here. You won't believe me when I tell you, but... I was looking out at the sea the other day when I saw a person just floating in the ocean. Isn't that crazy? Oh, you don't say. Hey, remember when these guys were kind of scary? Lousy bugs, get the hell out of here. Let's get on the ship. Good, I'm just sailing. I'm still used to teleporting to the ship that, uh, like, I have to depart afterwards. So, west we go. Ah, oh, dear. Fights. Oh no, it's the these things. Anyway, that was fun. Bye. Don't care about that right now. So, 
as we were going. Let's keep going. Hopefully I'm kind of in the, the neighborhood here. Like, I don't know how far I need to go. Like, I, I don't know how far I need to be, or if I need to go closer to the island, or what. Like, I'm afraid I'm too far. Like, I'm really out there. Oh, nope, here we go. There it is. You see that little plank? Hey! Emergency! Man overboard! Oh, we got him. Look who it is. I'm at your mercy. What should we do? I already asked him twice to join me. He said no. That the first option is off with his head? God damn, good thing I didn't mash through this. Jeez. What the hell, man? But, um, yeah, needless to say, if we had executed him earlier, clearly this scene would not have happened at all. But yeah. Only when you get every single other star in the game can you finally recruit Snow. Perhaps we should let him join us. Are you sure? I have no choice but to acknowledge how powerless I am. I knew it. I knew it all along. Thank you. Now that I got my ass kicked three times, I realize I should not have fought you. Commander Glenn punched me twice. You ruined me in battle twice. But Snow has joined us! Hooray! We did it! He's the 108th star. Yep, he's in. So... Uh, too bad I spent all my money, because I want to power him up. Because apparently his combo attack is the strongest one in the game, which it damn well better be, considering that he's the last guy. Can we punch him now? Um, technically, uh, if my character gets confused by an enemy and randomly attacks Snow, then yes, we can punch him. Uh, in any case... I might actually switch out Gao, because Kika's Falcon Rune is too good, and Ted's magic is absurd. So I'm, I'm genuinely sorry about Gao, but we're doing this thing. You see the very bottom? Hello? Where the hell is he? Did I just miss him? Yeah, there he is. Level 9, just like he was at the beginning of the game. Wow, no wonder I beat him so easily. I will do my best. What? <laughs> Alright, let's put him back in. So, I really can't deck him out in anything right now. Uh, what I can attempt to do... This is stupid, but I'll do it. Oh my god, Snow's in the loading animation when you get him. You know what? Worth it. Uh, I don't know if I'm affording anything for this guy. Actually, what does he have equipped? Okay. Guard ring for sure. Yeah, he can wear the real expensive stuff. Oh boy. I can just make the diamond shield. I'll give him a little something. And now I'm out of cash. Damnation. Boom. Feet, do I have anything? 
I do have diamond boots, I just have them. Freaking rad. Can I buy the diamond boots? I forgot. No, I can just buy them. This is good, I just have them. You lucked out, Snow. Do I have diamond mail? I have platinum mail, I'll give him that. Gold hell. I mean, that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. Let's be real. And also, Snow allows me the final combo in the game. Although there's one thing I want to check. I don't want to mess this up. Because I'm getting toward endgame now. Um... Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Give me a second, I'm gonna go upstairs again. the other guy away? I bet you I did. <sighs> so Snow, Kenneth, and Tal. So basically all of all of us childhood friends who are the guys so they can talk in the same bath at the same time. Snow being the loading screen is a little off-putting, but you know what? I I earned this. He's the final reward. Let's see what they say. Ah. Today's been another tiring day. Yeah. Whew. That's it, that's the whole conversation. But life sure is weird. What do you mean? Back when we were knights, we would have never even thought about bathing together with Young Master Snow, right? That's true, yeah, he was in like an upper class by some sort of nobility or something. I suppose so. Well, life doesn't always turn out the way we expect. Sometimes you get dunked on for the literal entire game, <laughs> and then you join your rival. What about Laszlo? Oh yeah, you weren't living in the dormitory of the Knights, were you? It's strange that the four of us are here together like this. I think so too. But I don't think our current situation is so bad. Then we're all okay with this arrangement, right? Definitely. After my dad got yelled out of town, I don't think I want to see him again either. Hooray! Things are turning around, kind of, I guess. Alright, and now, allow me to do the final grind for combos in the game! And it's apparently the best combo in the game. Now, you may remember that we already had a combo with Snow that I think we might have started the game with. Like, I don't even think we had to unlock it. Or if we did, it didn't take long. This time I remembered. I, oh my god, I'm gonna need some cash for snow. I'm gonna see if I can at least... Mm. That's a hell of a I'm going straight for cash land. Which means, actually... Oh, I want to see the roster, but I do have a full roster now, which is pretty great. But, let's get even more cash. I wonder, like... What, what's better, Deserted Island or the Ruins of Obel? But whatever. I'll go with what I, I know. Man, Chad is not supporting Snow. Don't you know he's our friend? The first combo in the game we had was with him and it was called Friendship Attack. Okay? Plus, don't you want to see what my new combo is going to be? Because we are not doing the same combo. We are doing a new combo. And by the way, now that I've unlocked snow, I think there's more I can get from net fishing. Which is boring as hell, by the way. I go to a, a target location, 
cast the net and I just put the controller down for 10 minutes and then I see what I get but there's 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 cool stuff oh ooh. nah snow's gonna get wrecked with a fight like that but I do need to win fights to get the combo so this is good because I am grinding for cash and for leveling up snow Oh, this is even worse, but whatever, I'm doing it. Just nobody punch no, please. Thank you. 28 damage. Which is more than I thought it would be, to be perfectly honest. Snow's already dead, it's fine. Oh, we got the, the frog monster. Good. And we got a crit. Even better. Let's do item... Jesus O'Clock on Snow, and everyone else can go ham. And Snow gets to level up. Snow was what, level 9? Whoops, he's 14 now. <laughs> you know what, I'm fine with this grinding after Snow gets punched out. Oh boy. Chat is too cruel. What, 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 what could you possibly not like about Snow, even though I was like the most anti-snow guy ever in, like, the first couple of streams. <laughs> Nobody hit snow, please, thank you! Actually, that thing targeted snow but missed. Snow got lucky as hell. Ugh. I hate when they dodge my attacks. Don't hit snow, please. Did snow live? That- man, he is wearing good armor! Anyway, you're out of here, buddy. 14? More like 21. The flies seem to give him better XP for some reason. Now, I could really, really give him XP if I go to the training room in the ship, but the problem with that is that you don't get money from that fight. So it's it's like pure XP. Oh look, it's the same things again. I am going to need to deck my crew out with the best armor in the game. At least the best that I can buy. Maybe I can make better, but I don't feel like looking into that. I gotta deck out my crew, and I also gotta pump all of their weapons to level 16, and I actually will want to do this with Snow. I think Snow's gonna be an endgame character, as frustrating as that might be for everybody involved, including myself. You don't forget Snow's ethics and morals. <laughs> I almost forgot his ethics and mo To be fair, he really thought he was doing the right thing in the beginning of the game, even if it was just an asshole thing to do. But then he became a damn pirate and he was just attacking us? I, like, what? <laughs> I, I don't know what he was going for at that point. Anyway, this is the real XP. I hope Snow lives. No, Snow's good, alright. Damn, Kika! I didn't even need to do this move then. It was gonna, like, hit three of the five bugs, but now there's only two left. <laughs> yeah, Snow can just take a hit from these guys now. Look at that. Can't hit for anything, but maybe that'll change his levels up. And remember, all this time I'm still working on unlocking a combo with them. Now he's level 39. That took no time. 39! He was level 9 when he joined me. And this was, what, like four fights? Deserted Island's a good place to be. Oh, hey! It's the money fight. Come on, Snow, hit it with your little twig. 93? It's... For the weapon he has, it's pretty good. And Kika finished the job. Didn't even need the crit, but we got it anyway. 40. He only leveled once, but look at all that cash. Look at all that sweet cash. I already have enough to pump... Laszlo to level 16. The problem is, though, I, I want to buy the diamond armor. I want to pump my main party's armor just a little bit, and it just costs. <laughs> These guys might kill Snow. But if they don't want to go for him, it's fine, too. I'll, I'll happily take that. Snow basically just doesn't count as an attacker during these fights because he's doing 90 damage. 75, like, yeah. And that attack's gonna hurt. Uh, well, 
Not so bad for snow anymore. He does have almost endgame armor, so that's, that's not bad on my part. I'm decking him out. Chad is just not forgiving him for all of his, uh... exploits earlier in the game. Have a heart, Chad, even though I was the most anti-snow guy at first. <laughs> Everything's fine, don't you worry about that. Uh, I hate these guys. I love Kak uh, Kika's, like... Oh, there's the crit, good stuff. I love her twin blue swords, this kick ass. And that move really sucks, by the way, because that can um, potentially turn my guys to stone. And once that happens, they're just out. And now Ted's dead. No, he's not. No, he's not. Let's finish this before he dies, please. Thank you. Goody, goody. I'm going to do a, a little heal now. But hey, Snow's back. Good for him. Level 43. What a champ. What a hero. I'm still waiting for the damn combo to unlock, by the way. Excuse me. How long is this supposed to take? I still gotta pump him up with my injections of cash. And actually, I just had a thought. Speaking of pumping up snow, I'm gonna have to look into something. Once I get uh, my combo, or once I have to retreat. But Snow's gonna become a force of nature. Just you wait. Just you wait. It is straight up impressive, though, how much Chad is dunking on Snow. They do not forgive as easily as Laszlo does. I am becoming vexed over my distinct lack of a combo. Let's say three more fights and then I'm going to abandon ship by ironically going directly toward the ship. <laughs> Abandoning ship means getting on the ship, everybody, didn't you know? So, let's get rid of these moss behemoths. Let, okay, three more battles, including this one. We'll see what comes of it. I want, I want Snow to become just scary. And he can become scary, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It'll happen. I love it when these guys swing and miss. I love it less when Snow doesn't hit very high. But I'll change it, I'll change it. Alright, there you go, that's one fight. And he leveled again, oh my goodness, he's becoming too powerful. Where the hell is my my uh, final combo? I wanted to unlock. Anyway, here's my second fight. Ugh. I really don't like these guys. Give me the giant flower or the bugs. The bugs give XP and the flower gives cash. And they're all less threatening than these behemoths with their annoying party hitting attack with the AoE, I guess. It really is funny how much proportional damage Snow is doing with his little dinky weapon, because levels matter. Alright, that's two fights. Can I get one more? No, we're done. True friends attack. True friends! It's not friendship, baby. It's true friendship. Allow me to show you the most devastating attack in the game. Uh, well, combo attack. It probably won't hurt as much as it could, because Snow has a dinky weapon, but you'll get to see what it looks like. Only one enemy. That'll be really good against bosses. Once I power Snow up, you're gonna see some serious damage. 
Did Snow just get a counter kill? That's absurd. So there you go, that's the last combo. That's all of them, we did it. Every combo in the game. So uh, let me go to the ship. Because unlike chat, I am pleased with what has happened. <laughs> Alright, first let's take ourselves a nap, get our, our runes and HP back. Boom. Let's get out of here. Comment box. The ship is mine now. Django. Yeah, right. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'm just kidding. Look forward to working with you. Sigurd. Uh, Lady Kika has told me to come over here for a while. I look forward to working with you. Uh, yo, from Jeremy. Hope we get along. I'm not too good at writing, but I look forward to working with you. And then Net Fishing from Shermine. Won't you come to cast a net? I think it'll be a good diversion. Yeah, that actually would be useful. I was wondering if Snow was going to say anything, but anyway, let's, uh... Go shopping. I'm gonna pump Snow's weapon first. Which makes me cry, because I want to pump my weapon. Daddy Blade. Oh god, I forgot about that. Let's change that thing's name as fast as humanly possible. Harder, Daddy Blade. So let's let's keep moving. Let's let's move fast. And for the love of God, whatever this thing is called next, it better be something blade instead of daddy something else. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, are you serious? It's level nine. Don't even tell me. Are you serious? The one blade that doesn't change, the one blade that stays the same forever is Daddy Blade. You can't be- it's not even like Daddy Blade Plus and Daddy Blade Plus Plus. Like, I think Flick did that with like the Odette, it was like Odette Plus. It's just the Daddy Blade. It's just the Daddy Blade. Oh, th oh my god, okay. Well, we did it, everybody. We did it. We did it. We did it. We're through. We're through. It's the snow blade. We're through. We're through. Oh my god, we just made it. There's snow blade like snow blade. Thank god. That, wow. No, Winterburn, it did not get worse. It got better. Anything is better than the Daddy Blade. You've got to be freaking kidding me with that name. Oh, man. All right, so we got that. Uh, what else did I want to do? Like, Oh, right. Yeah, this is going to be real good. Watch this. Ooh. I got to find where... I might have to buy it. Ugh, and I can't. All right, we'll start. We'll start with the basics. Fury. It causes berserk. Cause you know what better person to have that? But now the next thing I want to do is get some quick cash. A little quick cash, mind you. I'm gonna go to the deserted island again, and this won't be for long. This will be two fights, I think, at the most. But when you see it, oh boy. This is something I've kind of wanted for Laszlo, but apparently it's really good with snow. Let's get into two fights. <laughs> Skunk Orb seems appropriate for snow. Oh god. Uh, oh, I can just release these guys now. That's how powerful I am. Also, I wonder, with the Slash Orb, like, I don't have it equipped, but with the Slash Orb, could I just kill them? And come to think of it, I could also fight the Ancient Crab. Why don't I just do that? Why the hell not? 
Why the hell not? Hopefully Snow doesn't get KO'd, although at this point I think he can kind of hold his own. This is a regular random fight. But I've shown you the two secret bosses, what do you think? God damn it, these guys just don't go away. Stop punching my sorcerer. My immortal sorcerer. Who's been two games? I guess no one's lasted as long as Vicky and Jean. 14,000 potch. One more fight will do it. Just like that. Uh, wait. Alright, let's hazard it. Oh no, it's scary music. You wanna see something cool? True friends. Falcon. Judgment. This is gonna be damage and a half. Now that Snow actually has a decent weapon. Fifteen hundred ninety. For a combo attack, that's serious. But we already just dealt like four thousand damage. That's insane. No, not Ted. Ah. Anyway, let's do the same exact thing again because that's really powerful. It's really powerful. Fifteen hundred. Like we're really taking this thing to the cleaner. And now we fight semi-normally. Now Snow being Berserk helps a lot, let me tell you. Can Snow take another one of those hits? Yes, he can. I love the little zoom-ins or whatever it is where the picture gets a little bigger each time they do it. I think we got it. Wow. Damn, Snow. 65,000 potch. All right. 65,000 from the one fight. Now, I do have a Prosperity Rune, and I do have Noah, but that is some serious cash. And the Golem's probably worth more, but that's the Golem. Like, that, that, that's hard. Anyway, I will once again heal. I still can't get over that his weapon wasn't called, like, Father Blade, like it's Daddy Blade. Jesus. You will fall before my Daddy Blade. Uh, anyway, as much cash as I just got, I'm gonna be using 20,000 of it. But when you see why I'm using it, oh, just you wait, just you wait. Snow has Fury, which means he's Berserk, and he has Double Strike, which is just scary. It's great. Uh, I could also pump his weapon a little more. Uh, one more time. Wow. He's, uh, he's almost caught up to my power. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let's save real quick. So now he's just uh, a genuine nightmare to deal with at this point, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, what is it that I want to do next? I got snow. I guess I'll take care of some minor stuff. Well, semi, semi minor stuff. This is going to be good, I think, actually. 
let's do... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get some good stuff. I'll wrap up with a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna go to some surprising places. Oh, I was gonna talk to you, I don't need to do that. Let's go to... Middleport! Hooray! I have a couple little errands. Let's see if I remember how to navigate Middleport. It's been a little while. I think it's straightforward. But you'll see some cool stuff. Don't you worry. I think it was this screen, though, that threw me off a little bit. Up ahead is Rhinebach's place. Is it this way? The back streets, I think. Yeah, we're good. Is it you? I found this in the dresser at my home, but if you like, you can have it. Guardian sandals. That's that's some good stuff. Okay, bye. See ya. Another quick little errand. Behold. Let's go to... Oh, there's the top option. The Nest of Pirates. I'm going to have to do a little searching around to see whom to talk to, but we'll get there, we'll get there. It's someone in here and I don't know who. Hi, Lady Kika. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you're the inn, so it's just someone at the tables, I guess. I don't know which one. Lady Kika, please call for us if you need anything. Yeah, I know. I wonder if I don't need Lady Kika in my party for this to work, but we'll find out. Lady Kika, hello! Yeah. Amazing. Can I not get to the back? I, I might need to get rid of Lady Kika in my party. We'll find out. Lady Kika, nothing out of the ordinary over here? Alright. This might not work. I might actually need to swap party members. That's a little frustrating. Wow. Alright. Be right back. Sorry. How silly. Yeah, great conversation, unless you're not kidding. Let's, uh, just swap her out real quick. Or no, I'm not even gonna swap her. I'm just gonna, uh, just take her out of my roster. See you around. Let's try this again, see if anything changes. Because they'll, they'll be talking to me, and not Lady Kika. Let's try it. I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be inside the tavern area. Bar. You hang in there. Here, take this. I'm rooting for you. Mermaid bracelet! That was the thing! That was the thing! But who can wear it? It's gotta be hands. Wear a guardian bracelet. Part of the mermaid set. Like, can only the mermaids themselves wear it? Uh, anyway, whatever. Bye. No, the mermaids can't wear it because they're not in my party. They're not playable. Huh. Anyway, let's get Kika back in here. The time has come. She can do it. Wow. Those stats are really good. <laughs> Everything goes up except for attack and strength. That's quite impressive. Oh, and it's not even attack and strength. That's because the pirate bracers themselves increase attack and strength. So the mermaid bracer doesn't lower your stats. It's just it doesn't give you the bonus that the pirate one does. So it's way better for her defense. Damn. That's very good. Uh, anyway. Yeah. All right. I'm going to another location now. 
Doing a little bit of cleanup, like I said. Um, here we are, this nightmare land. Uh, what's my cash? Hmm. I might want to pump Snow's weapon a little more, but in any case. Let's attempt to navigate. This place is so hard to like do anything with because everything's so gray. And we got fights. Oh yeah, I forgot there's just cool look guys here. But anyway, whatever, bye. Okay, here's a chest that I actively avoided the first time I came here, because it's one of these. Surprise. What if I hold off on the combo attack, and I just have Snow take a swing with his double strike? Anyway, Ted can use his judgment. Wow! A thousand from a swing? Are you kidding me? Snow, god damn. Anyway, fight's over. Jeez. 26k potch as well. Guardian garb. Very nice, very nice. Now excuse me for a moment. Oh my god. That's insane. Can he is yeah, let's let's just Guardian Guardian magic goes down a bit. I don't have a Guardian helm, but Ted's looking real good right about now. Real good. Anyway, this was the base. Let's uh keep going. These cool look scrubs, just get the hell out of here. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Destroyed town. Now there was uh, another chest in here and I don't remember where. And this area is sizable, unfortunately. Stun Blizzard. Well, now that I know that Snow can hit like a freaking truck, we'll say. Oh, these guys are nothing on the doesn't matter. Whatever. Where was the other treasure chest? See, this is going to be my problem. I'm going to be getting into fights while just... Okay, we're good. We're good, I think. I was going to say fights while wandering around, but... Oh, look, it's another one! Can you believe it? Let's repeat the process. And this thing's going to be dead. 500 damage out of 3,000. I can never tell how much Kika does. And judgment. I think we're already done before Snow even gets a chance. See ya! Oh my god, hero's armor. Let me see something out of curiosity. I can wear the hero's armor. Jeez, those stats. As hypocritical as it is to do, I might want to give it to Snow. Oh my god. You know what I'm gonna need to find though? is the Pirate King's boots. I forgot where that is. Maybe it's a treasure chest thing, but I'm gonna need to get on that, because once I do, I can give them to, uh, to Laszlo, and then I could give Snow the hero shoes. Do I have, I have a hero shield. Jeez. Hero's helm? No. 
Hopefully no one else is wearing it. But hero boots, I could give them to uh to snow. But these these hero boots are very, very good. Uh anyway. Deserted Island, I think I'm just good. I think I'm just good. Oh yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll wrap up with one last brand new special super duper thing that I think you're gonna like. First of all, let's rest to get my runes back. And now let's, um... I forgot where I want to go to make this make sense. I, th I think it's to the west. I think. So I'm going to go to Razrail. I hope I'm doing this right. And yeah, I know chat's a little frustrated that I'm giving Snow of all people in the world a hero set, but he sure as hell is not getting the Pirate King set. That is mine. Okay? It's mine. So, let's get on our ship. I don't actually want to be in Razrael, I just want to be near Razrael, I think. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Worst case scenario, I teleport a little closer. Eh. I was close. I was close. I was close. Puts me in the bedroom. Ugh. I should have teleported to the ship from Razrail. But then again, I would have had to have already known where I was in relation to where I needed to go. Ugh. I can give him the silver set, that way he knows he's number two. Oh, jeez. But there's gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver would be like number four. Not that I think you would complain about that. No, such a freaking scrub. And yet he's one of the best characters in the game, go figure. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to sail southwest. We're going to Lime Shelf, baby. We've just never been. We've just never been. Do I, how much south do I need to go? A little bit. I can't wait, it's a brand new island that uh, I haven't landed on, so it's not going to appear on my map. I'll just have to wait until I physically see it. So I'm going to have to sail around it to get a sense of where to land, but you know what, it's fine. By the way, don't forget, if you keep doing fights with characters you have combos with, then their team attack levels up, up to level 3. So I can level up my true friendship attack uh, two more times, I think. Anyway, let's keep on sailing. I'm gonna wrap up this stream with a uh, minor exploration. Oops. These guys are worth nothing but I'm leveling up my friendship attack so I can become even more dangerous. Because Snow has Berserk and Double Strike, so he deals 1,000 damage with a swing. That is absurd. Right, how close am I? Oh, hello, I'm getting almost there. See ya. And I'm getting meager amounts of potch as well. I'll take what I can get. Anything to power myself up even more. In the meantime, we're going to Lime Shelf Island, which is named in the map, but I have not actually landed there ever. And I think I see it to my left. 
I'm excited. Oh no, it's slightly scarier enemies. But now Snow is ironically more capable of harming them. Yeah, look at that counter. He didn't even get to attack because he counterattacked. It's already over. So anyway, where do I land? How do I actually land on this thing? Because this is tiny. It's called Lime Shell for a reason. Look at that. It looks like we can make landfall. Boom! Now there's really not much to explore here. Uh, yep, I can I can treasure hunt. And I don't worry, she's not getting into fights. But yeah, I can I can treasure hunt here. I'll have to see what the map is like. So, uh, mosquito. That's what we're dealing with. Jeez, snow. I could have land landed at this island a long time ago, so these enemies really shouldn't be anything. I'm not gonna treasure hunt now. Oh, this sucks. I'm gonna navigate based on the map. I, I want to get to the top of this place for a dead end, okay? That's the whole point of Lime Shelf Island. This place is just exploration. Like, the, there's no dungeon here or anything. There's just, like, make it to the top of the island and otherwise go treasure hunting. I'm not gonna go treasure hunting just now. What I will do is show you what's at the top of the map. Which, let me double check this. For safety, I'll take the long way. If I can. Okay, I can. Is it just mosquitoes here? That might genuinely be it. Anyway, they're very easily dealt with with my overpowered characters. Not worth very much cash, though. I didn't even pay attention to the XP. Hey, what was that? I guess it was just when I entered or left the battle and re-entered gameplay that that map thing turned green for a second. But I'm almost at the top of Lime Shelf Island, everybody. I'm almost at the top. Also, treasure hunting here sucks, because you're just stumbling around these obnoxious little cliffs. I can't wait to be done with Lime Shelf. And yeah, it sounded like it was like scanning or something for treasure maps. Let's do this. This. I'm almost up top. There's a dead end up there. And did you, did you see it on my screen for just a second? Ho ho! This is the entirety of Lime Shelf Island. And it's a treasure map! And actually, let me see something real quick. This is important. Yeah, I think there's only one treasure map left in the game. This one is like 25 out of 30. So now I'm only missing 29 out of 30, which is kind of cool. Now, you know what? Just for the hell of it. These maps are terrible. Okay. This this is something. I will, I will try looking for this one map. For this one location. Which is going to suck, by the way. I can see that hook. But next to where? There's a little... Out, ugh, everything looks the same. This is so disorienting. Is that it? I think I found it. I found it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to navigate my way back down, but I found it. God, this sucks. This treasure better be good. Wait, is the treasure right behind the treasure box for the treasure map? That would be adorable. That'd be some Metal Gear Solid 2 shenanigans. I mean, I do have a bunch more maps, so no promises, but... I'm going to climb down until I get to that area I saw, 
It's very distracting though when I have the fights. I, I genuinely might want to just put someone that I don't care about in my party with a skunk rune so I can just do my damn job. But I saw the area I needed. The question is, can I get there today? Wait, what? Is that for map three? It is, okay. So it, it gives me quite a range to, to look in. Here it is. No good. I know I'm right on it. There. Seems we found something. Oh hey, log bench! One of my decorative pieces for the interior of the ship. Look at that. Look at that. We got the log bench, baby. Uh, anything else look like it's on Lime Shelf Island? These maps are so damn vague. Wait, nine? Hmm. This is another Lime Shelf piece. Let me just get a little bit bigger map. Let me just do it. Um, oh, I'm not even far. I'll get that one too, the hell with it. Hello there, James, welcome to the stream. I'm about to wrap up, but I'm about to dig up some treasure too. Fancy table, another piece of furniture. What? Really? Oh god, that's hard to read. up a little bit but the thing was already beeping though pain in the ass map the ugh, these lime shelf maps man maybe this is it maybe it's in this middle area yeah, okay. All right, it looks like I found something. A wool robe. I don't know how great that is, but I found it. Look at this map. Are you freaking serious? What the hell do I do with this? But anyway. But um, I think I might be done with Lime Shelf, at least for now. What I'll do is head back to the ship. And I think I'm going to save the game. But three maps. That's better than what I thought I would get. Actually, you know what? The last thing I'll do, for super duper reels, the last thing I'll do, just for safety, because what the hell happened to map 9, I'm going to hit up the elevator. I want to say it was 4 or 5, because I think it was in the library. And I may as well do this anyway, because I got a new map. But let's hit up... The, oh, don't tell me it was floor 4. Probably was. Ugh. Is 
this the library? Yeah, good. Okay. And you. Boom. Mr. Laszlo. Treasure map. I'll analyze them. Did it. So, I want to see a treasure map. There- okay, there's nine. I just hadn't analyzed it. I got scared for a second that I maybe I missed it. But no, we're good. We're good. Oh boy. Let me just double check this. I should have everything except for map, uh, 29, I think. Oh, I have 29? Did I somehow get them all then? But, hmm. There's nothing that says, like, not found yet? Unless 29 is just... Hmm. I wonder if I forgot to mark it off then. Maybe I'm done. Guess we'll find out. But alright. In any case, I'm going to save again. That went quite well. And this is where I'm going to wrap up. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching the stream. And have a wonderful night.